All right, strap in everyone, because today we are taking a deep dive into something incredible, the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology. That's right. Yeah, the UN has dedicated a whole year, all of 2025, to this, to, the, and no. to this revolutionary field. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to untack why. It is remarkable, isn't it? When you think about it, it's not just a, a little a nod to some abstract scientific concept, right. but it's a recognition that this, that quantum science and technology holds the key to solving some of the world's, you know, biggest problems. Exactly. And you know me, I love getting to the heart of what makes things tick. Yeah. So let's break it down. Why is the UN making such a big deal out of quantum science? What's the big vision here? Well, it really comes down to impact. The UN is basically saying that quantum science isn't just some obscure theoretical field that's stuck in labs. Right. It has the potential to revolutionize everything. Yeah. From healthcare and energy to environmental protection and beyond. So it's about going from the lab to the real world and showing how this science can actually improve our lives. Exactly. And by dedicating a whole year to it, the UN is raising awareness and understanding of quantum science. They're saying, this is important, it's going to shape the future, right. and everyone should know about it. I love that. I love that they're making it accessible to everyone, not just the scientists and researchers. Right. But let's get specific. What are some real-world applications of quantum science that are going to make a difference? Well, think about the energy crisis, for example. Quantum photonics is leading to the development of super-efficient solar cells that could revolutionize how we get energy from the sun. Imagine a future where clean energy is available to everyone thanks to these breakthroughs in quantum science. Okay, that's a pretty powerful example. Are there any other areas where quantum science is making those kinds of waves? Absolutely. Quantum sensors are being developed with unbelievable precision, allowing us to monitor the environment like never before. We could be talking about tracking pollution, detecting little changes in the Earth's magnetic field, or even predicting natural disasters more accurately. It's amazing to think that we can use the, the strangeness of the quantum world to fix these very practical problems. It is, and that's really just the beginning. Quantum computers, although they're still in their early stages, they have the potential to revolutionize fields like medicine, material science, and AI. Right. Imagine designing life-saving drugs with pinpoint accuracy, creating entirely new materials that have never even been thought of before, yeah. or AI systems that are smarter than anything we've ever seen. Wow, those are some serious implications. It sounds like the UN is really betting big on the future of quantum science. They are. And it's not just about technology. It's about using this knowledge to create a better world for everyone, a more sustainable, a more fair, and a more prosperous world for everyone. It's about inspiring future generations to become pioneers in quantum science. It's about global collaboration. And it's about making sure that everyone benefits from this scientific revolution. I'm sensing a theme here. It's not just about the science. It's about the impact on humans, about how we can solve global challenges together. You got it. And that's what makes this International Year of Quantum Science and Technology so compelling. It's a celebration of human ingenuity, a call to action, and a glimpse into a future where anything is possible. Speaking of celebrations, do we know anything about how they're going to kick off this International Year? Well, there's a rumor that there might be a grand opening ceremony in Berlin on January 14th, 2025. Picture this, leading minds from all over the world, all in one room. Wow. To celebrate the power of quantum science. Can you imagine the energy in that room? I can feel the excitement building already. And this is all happening against the backdrop of a really important milestone. Yeah. Because 2025 is the 100th anniversary of quantum mechanics. Oh, wow. It's been a century since scientists started to uncover the mysteries of this incredible field, and we've already come so far. It's amazing to think that what started as a theoretical framework a century ago, is now creating real-world solutions and shaping the future of humanity. This International Year is more than just a celebration. It's a launching pad for the next 100 years of quantum breakthroughs. Exactly. And that begs the question, if we've seen such amazing advancements in the first 100 years, what will the next century bring? What role will you play in this incredible quantum future? Okay, now you've got me really curious. I'm ready to dive deeper into the specific applications and implications of this groundbreaking science. Let's do it. The quantum world is full of surprises and we're only just getting started. So let's dive into a specific application that I find really fascinating and that's quantum computing. Okay, quantum computing. It's something we hear about a lot, but it still feels a bit like science fiction to me. What exactly is it and why is everyone making such a fuss about it? 
Imagine a computer that can perform calculations trillions of times faster than the most powerful supercomputers we have today. Whoa. That's the potential of quantum computing. Wow, that sounds almost too good to be true. What makes these quantum computers so much more powerful than our regular computers? It all comes down to how information is stored and processed. Regular computers use bits, which can be either a zero or a one. Right. But quantum computers use qubits, which can be both zero and one at the same time. It's called superposition. Superposition, yeah, that rings a bell. Is that that same idea we talked about before where a particle can be in multiple states at once? Exactly. Exactly. It's yeah. that quantum weirdness that makes quantum computers so powerful. By tapping into things like superposition and entanglement, these computers can solve problems that regular computers can't even touch. Okay, so what kind of problems are we talking about? How could this quantum computing actually change our lives? Well, imagine designing new materials at the atomic level, creating drugs that target specific diseases or even developing personalized treatment plans based on your unique DNA. Okay, those are game changers in healthcare. But what about other fields? Can quantum computing impact things like energy or environmental science? Absolutely. One area where quantum computers are going to make a huge impact is in climate modeling. Imagine simulating complex climate systems with incredible accuracy Right. that would allow us to make better decisions about how to deal with climate change. That's amazing. Yeah. But let's be real. Quantum computing is still in its early stages, right? What are some of the hurdles that scientists are facing in developing this technology? Well, it's true that building practical quantum computers is a tough challenge. One of the biggest problems is keeping those qubits stable. They are incredibly sensitive to any kind of disturbance. So it's like trying to build a house of cards in a hurricane. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a great analogy. And that's why researchers are always looking for ways to make those qubits more stable and less sensitive to noise. Hmm. So we can build bigger and more powerful quantum computers. It sounds like there's a lot of excitement but also a long road ahead for quantum computing. There is, but the payoff could be huge. And the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology is all about highlighting these efforts, getting people to work together, and encouraging the next generation of quantum computer scientists. Now, speaking of collaboration, it seems like the UN is really emphasizing how important global partnerships are to move quantum science forward. Why is that so important? Well, quantum science is complicated and it's changing rapidly and no single country has all the answers. By working together, sharing what we know and pooling our resources, yeah. we can speed up progress and yeah. make sure that everybody benefits from this technology. Like a giant global brain trust working together to solve some of the world's toughest problems. Exactly. And the International Year is all about celebrating that collaborative spirit, you yeah. know, and creating new partnerships that'll drive innovation for years to come. Right. But it's not just about scientists working together in labs, is it? How can ordinary people be part of this International Year of Quantum Science and Technology? That's a great question. The International Year is for everyone, not just scientists. It's a chance to learn, to explore, and to talk about this fascinating field that's constantly changing. Okay, so how can we do that? Are there resources available for those of us who aren't quantum physicists but who want to understand this technology better? Absolutely. Museums, science centers, universities all over the world are hosting exhibitions, lectures, and workshops that are designed to make quantum science easy to understand for the public. Cool. And there are tons of online resources like articles, videos, simulations, and even games that can help explain this complex field. I love that idea of gamifying quantum mechanics. It makes it feel less intimidating. Yeah. For sure. And don't underestimate the power of just reading popular science books or articles about it. There are some amazing writers out there who can explain even the most complicated ideas in a way that everyone can understand. So it's about finding what interests you and diving in. But what about those who want to go even further? Are there ways for non-scientists to really get involved and make a contribution to the field? You bet. Citizen science projects are a fantastic way to get involved. These projects use crowdsourcing to analyze data, run simulations, or even help develop new algorithms. Wow, so you don't need a PhD in physics to help advance scientific discovery. That's awesome. That's right. And remember, the International Year is also about talking about these things and raising awareness. 
Talk to your friends and family about quantum science. Yeah. Share articles you find interesting and discuss the ethical and societal implications of it all. The more we talk about it, the more we demystify it and inspire the next generation to get excited about quantum science. It's like creating a ripple effect that spreads the wonder of quantum science everywhere. Exactly. And who knows, maybe one of those ripples will lead to a big discovery or a life-changing invention. So we've talked a lot about the good things that can come from quantum science. But we also need to acknowledge that there are some challenges and potential risks that need to be addressed. You're absolutely right. Like any powerful tool, quantum technology can be used for good or bad. It's really important that we have open and honest discussions about the ethical impl implications of these advancements. Right. And develop safeguards to ensure that it's used responsibly. So as we celebrate all the amazing potential of quantum science, we also need to approach it with a sense of responsibility and think about the future. Precisely. It's a balancing act. We need to be aware of the risks while also embracing the transformative possibilities that this technology offers. It's like exploring uncharted territory. We need to be brave in our exploration, but also cautious and aware of the potential consequences. I like that. And the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology is a chance for all of us to chart this course together, to have these important conversations, and to make sure that this quantum future benefits everyone. This deep dive is really opening my eyes to the vast potential and the complex challenges that come with quantum science. It's more than just a scientific endeavor. It's a societal one that will impact everyone. You're exactly right. And the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology acknowledges this multifaceted nature of the field. It's a celebration of science, but it's also a call to action, a reminder that we all have a role to play in shaping this quantum future. Speaking of the future, what are some of the most exciting areas of quantum science that you think will shape the next century of discovery? That's a great question. One area with immense potential is quantum sensing. As we develop even more sensitive and precise quantum sensors, we're going to gain incredible insights into how the universe works, mm. from the tiniest particles to the largest structures. So we could be on the verge of unlocking new secrets of the cosmos thanks to quantum technology. Exactly. And this deeper understanding of nature could lead to breakthroughs in so many other fields, from medicine and material science to energy and environmental protection. It sounds like a domino effect of discovery with each new insight in quantum science leading to even more amazing advancements. That's exactly it. And the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology is all about accelerating this process, encouraging collaboration, and inspiring the next generation of quantum explorers. It's so exciting to be alive at a time when these incredible discoveries are happening and to be able to witness and even be a part of this quantum revolution. It really is. And the International Year is an invitation for everyone to join in on this adventure, explore the wonders of the quantum world, and help create a future where this amazing science makes our lives better. We've really covered a lot of ground, haven't we? Mm -hmm. From the mind-blowing ideas of quantum mechanics to the potential of these technologies to completely change the world as we know it. It is truly amazing how much progress we've made in just one century since quantum mechanics came on the scene. And yet it feels like we're just starting to explore this huge and mysterious world. Yeah, it's both exciting and a little humbling to think about all the possibilities out there. But before we get too caught up in the future, let's bring it back down to Earth. What can people do like right now, to learn more about quantum science? Could they even help move it forward? The great thing about this international year is that it's for everyone, not just academics or researchers. So not just for the scientists and engineers then? Absolutely not. It's about sparking that curiosity in all of us. I think a great place to start is to just explore the tons of resources that are out there now. Such as? Give us some ideas. Well, lots of museums and science centers are putting on these interactive exhibits where you can actually experience quantum phenomena firsthand. You can find online courses, documentaries, and even games that make learning about quantum science fun and easy to understand. I love that idea of turning quantum mechanics into a game. It makes it seem a lot less scary and a lot more like a fun adventure. Right. And don't underestimate just picking up a popular science book or reading articles on the topic. Some really talented authors can explain even the most complex ideas in a way that anyone can grasp. So it's about finding something that grabs your interest and diving right in. But what about those who want to do more than just learn? Can people who aren't scientists actually contribute to this field? Of course they can. 
Citizen science projects are a fantastic way to get involved. They use the power of crowdsourcing to analyze data, run simulations, or even help develop new algorithms. That's amazing. You don't even need a PhD in physics to play a part in scientific discovery. Nope. And remember, the International Year is also about having these discussions and spreading awareness. Talk to your friends and family about quantum science, share an article you find interesting, and talk about what it all means for us ethically and societally. The more we talk about it, the less mysterious it becomes, and we can inspire the next generation to get excited about it. It's like those ripples spreading out from a stone dropped in water. The excitement and wonder of quantum science going everywhere. Exactly, and who knows? Maybe one of those ripples will lead to a groundbreaking discovery that changes everything. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the potential benefits, but it's important to remember that there are also some challenges and potential downsides that need to be considered too, right? Absolutely. Quantum technology, like any powerful tool, can be used for good or for bad. It's super important to have open and honest conversations about the ethical implications of all of this and make sure we have safeguards in place so it is developed and used responsibly. So while we're celebrating all the incredible things quantum science can do, we also need to be responsible and think about the future. Right, exactly. It's a delicate balance. We need to be aware of the risks while also embracing all the possibilities that this technology has to offer. Like sailing into uncharted territory. We need to be brave explorers, but also cautious and aware of what might happen. I like that analogy. And this international year is our chance to navigate these waters together, to have those thoughtful discussions, and to ensure that this quantum future is a good one for all of us. This whole deep dive has been a real eye-opener for me. I feel like I understand the power and potential of quantum science in a new way, and I can't wait to see what the next hundred years will bring. I'm right there with you. This quantum adventure is just getting started and we're all in it together. So let's keep that curiosity alive, keep exploring, and see what wonders this amazing quantum world has in store for us. Well said. And that wraps up this episode. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the international year of quantum science and technology. We hope you enjoyed the journey as much as we did. 